Are we really going in the right direction? This place is nothing but grass, grass and grass! The Eastern Arcane skill, you said, is just a deception. No one is begging you to stay here. I'm Tio Niangzi, filling in for the former Jilly. Are you in trouble? Our teammates were turned into horses and brought away by a talking giant bird. You should not be here. The Featherman is related to some disappearances in the city. You're a Xiang Rei. Why do you have to do that? Stop this now. Or even a real Xiang Rei cannot save you from the disaster. They pretended to be merchants to get into the city, but they are actually with the Feather Man. the eastern arcane skill we're looking for requires a price a terrible price the picture of the wanted is complete please have a look great all thanks to that foreign lady she must be good at painting Газета? Их телега уже давно не появлялась. Я слышала, что цена была низкая и рабочих рук у них не хватало. Эти торговцы жадные, как бездонная яма. Впрочем, как эти фермеры. Дым, пыль, приискиватели — это последнее, что нужно этому бедному городу. В прошлый раз она была в отъезде целый год и не прислала ни одного письма. Сейчас она опять уезжает в такие места, где подружиться можно только с комарами, с шами и с сыном. Святая Мария, не дай ей заболеть или вернуться домой ослепшей, как та женщина. А, вы имеете в виду медаль, врученная за исследование? Она из бронзы. Кто знает, сколько рублей она стоит. Не говоря уже о тех балах, которые она упустила, молодые кавалеры приходили и уходили. Но у нее даже не было возможности с ними познакомиться. Route confirmed. Calls, maps, carriage ticket, reference letter, glass bottles, rock hammer. And the knife in my pocket. Oh, I need to waterproof the papers. Linen, it's, um... Oh, here it is. I could bring more new parchment this time. Hmm? 
Wait, why is it... already used? It's a record I wrote from dictation. Judging from the handwriting, I must have done it in the wilds. The edge is ragged, so probably it's been stored for over a year since it dried. Over a year? Oh, it's the travel diary Madame Vismerz asked me to write down for her. Maybe I should call it travel notes? <laughs> Either way, I think I had completed the arrangement and sent the original to her. There's no way I forgot such an important thing. So, what is it doing here? And it's... It's missing a few days of records. Um, October 10... October 16... October 17... October 17... Cloudy. We sold the carriage and rented boats from the local farmers to sail along the Om River... ...before it froze. In this way, we might be able to enter the city of Omsk without passing the North Gate. After all, the travelers from the Far East had said, the city was heavily guarded like a fortress, and the guards would not overlook the slightest inconsistency between people's stories and their documents. We had to go through this trouble because we were in such a rush when we set off that we had little time to prepare the documents. They were far from authentic enough to convince the guards. Before we left, I gave several speeches to raise funds for the travel. The last speech was in a new park in the downstream area of the Ulm River. My assistant described to me that the park was crowned by a large pile of cumulative rock, which was burdened with the European Russian vegetation, all in its best time of year. This is the note on the 17th, the day after... Hmm, October 18th. I have almost no recollection of that day. Child, do you recall anything? October 18. I do. After we took a break and collected the supplies we needed, you talked to the governor. He introduced you to a historian and sent a land surveyor. Oh. Yes, I remember it now. Bits of trivia. Let's skip that day for now. Yes, madam. October 19th. Partly sunny. I elaborated on my plan in my speech in the park. One of my arguments mentioned the Dushuo festival in the Eastern Land. Legend of the Dushuo festival. I was gratified to see that the audience was drawn to the relations between land worship and the historical geological features in Asia, and the investigation materials about a long-lost arcane skill. While the forms of land worship vary from one religion to another, the stories about an eastern arcane skill known to the merchants as Ask and Acquire are almost identical. In those stories, men and women with determined minds overcame the highest mountain and the deepest canyon to seek an answer. They patiently endured the suffering like the ascetics, pleading for the gods of Shirti's motherly mercy and hoping to be given what they asked. Even to this day, after the seekers are long gone, 
the God has never shown itself to any one of us. But we know it was there, for there is no better proof of the ask and acquire than this revived land. There is a sureness in people's remarks on ask and acquire. They are certain about its authenticity, like any geologist would not doubt the difference of soils and floodplains and mountains. That's right. Do we really have to see it to believe it? None of us have ever touched one sedimentary rock, but we can infer that such a thing exists. Madam, your analogy? Is there a problem? The existence of sedimentary rock can be verified, but that of the lost arcane skill cannot. Which is what I'm going to do now, to find the last piece of the jigsaw puzzle. Pardon me, ladies. She's right. We do need to find something, otherwise, how are we supposed to make up for this time we've spent running and waiting? What? Take a good look around. The rain has stopped. Don't act like you just noticed it, miss. How much longer are we going to wait, huh? Long enough for the vultures to eat flesh and bones? You! Mr. Krolik, you're troubled by unnecessary concerns. The vultures are scavengers. They are here only for the animal corpses brought by the thunderstorm. They will leave us alone. So they don't pose a threat. Then what's with the waiting? If you're trying to get us back on the road, you have the right to propose it directly. The team discusses to decide the next step. That's how things have worked all the way. We are not trying to waste your time. That's what I mean. We should get going now. I see. We will suggest the directions as usual, and everyone will walk to the side and... <laughs> oh no, you don't get it. There's no need to discuss or vote. Hmm? Because we are not going forward, but going back. That's the only direction available. I'm not the only one with this idea, Miss Besmer. Those legends from the East that the show festival is it, and the arcane trick you call Ask and Acquire. None of them matter more than our lives. Promise there won't be another emergency like this? What if we can't find shelter next time? Yeah, we'll be lying dead out there just like those corpses. I hear you.
Given what happened earlier, it is only reasonable that you would wish to return. So are we on the same page? I fully understand where you're coming from, and I acknowledge your reasoning. What are you trying to... But we still need a vote to decide. No problem, of course. It's the civilized way to solve it. But I require we skip the speech. We have no time to waste on your monologue. <sighs> All right. Madam! All right, gentlemen. If you agree to go back, please, raise your hand. Four to two. See, we can make decisions in no time. All right? This is the trap, madam. We can't just... Are you really fine with going back empty-handed like this? The vote was required by Miss Besnard, not me. And you... I'll take it that you're challenging me to a do if you continue with this slander. No, good sir. Please don't take her the wrong way. We don't have to go physical. What about Mr. Yurian? He has not voted yet, so the vote is not over. <laughs> oh, he's too tired to show up. But I'm sure he shares the same idea with us because... We are all humans. Of course, he's on our side. Say no more, Krolik. Pack your things. Let's head back. Fine. We'll split up from here, then. We'll take all the supplies with us, or we can't make our way back. No discussion. Gentlemen, the team was put together in good faith. Perhaps we should negotiate, not... <sighs> the compass doesn't work here. You need me to find the way back. Leave our supplies, and I'll show you the way. Mm, you have to do this the hard way.
Let's go. I walk fast. Nothing unexpected. Go now. The moment, the moment. Another jar? We walk in long nights. Learn from silence. Let's get it over quick. Exactly. <clears throat> that, my friends, is not how civilized people solve their problem. Mr. Jorian! Mr. Jurian. Monsieur Krolik. I thought you were here to discuss the reallocation of supplies with Madame Besmer. I didn't expect this. <clears throat> well... It's true that you didn't choose to be here. You are here because you have an important mission given by the Governor to complete. We have come this far. Do you really? Want to give up now? As for you, gentlemen... Petrov, I'm surprised you're here too. It's a risk that none of us expected. But it shouldn't have broken your will. I remember you showed a great interest in those ancient strata in the south when we were at the speech. All we need is safety. There will always be a buffer period after extreme weather. We should seize the chance and head back. If you persuade Miss Besmet to give us a confirmed date before which we can find the running water and come back, we can stick to the original plan. Madame Besmer? Certainly. You see, these are all negotiable. Wait, about the date. We can only decide after making an inventory. You have 30 minutes. That's enough. You know... Hmm? Mr. Jorian is very interested in Arcanum and Arcanus. He is the keenest supporter of our journey besides the Governor. Even if his understanding of Ask and Acquire is significantly... different from mine. The legend of Ask and Acquire, as told by many merchants, always involves a certain price. The price takes different forms in the stories, but mostly it is a great danger. I believe that it refers to the highest mountain and deepest canyon in those stories. I reckon so. But, Mr. Jorian, as a human historian studying the arcane skill, believes it's a form of exchange that arcanists make with nature. Mm-hmm. And you think he's wrong? At this stage, we can't verify anything, so all these assumptions will have to remain assumptions. 
However, as we are getting closer to that mysterious land, my craving for its knowledge is also becoming stronger. What do we know about the supplies? Put aside the water problem, the supplies can feed everyone for 8 days, maybe 12 if we economize. We can hold even longer if there are any preys or herders along the way. Are there any supply stations? Our supply stations are not on these planes. At least not on the map. How much drinking water and alcohol do we have left? Approximately... <sighs> oh great. These idiots put water in the alcohol. Now we are short of both. At least the alcohol has kept them... warm. They could have just drunk the alcohol. All right, all right, child. Now we should focus on the direction for the next step, not these bits of trivia. Regarding which, just to be clear, what I have in mind is... only slightly better than nothing. Better how? The moist air and the soil. Have you noticed? The soil beneath our feet is way too sticky, even for a land after a thunderstorm. I'm not entirely sure about this, but I tend to think that there is groundwater beneath us. Which means we are close to running water. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me think about how to get us there. Can't you use your arcane skill? What? Uh, just because you don't know what to do doesn't mean you should count on this uh, thing. You're not like them. I just want to make use of everything we have. Fine, I told you how it works. Without new running water, the old samples in the bottles can only show us the way back. That's the best they can do. This one is from the lower course of the Om River. The arcane energy I can use for divination has almost faded away. Can it show us the way back? Sure, but that's not what we want. <sighs> Only Mr. Krolik and his men would be happy to hear that. To think on the bright side, we still have a chance to go home. But I didn't leave my homeland to go back there, madam. Yes, yes, I know. I feel the same. I'm not suggesting we turn back immediately. It's just an option. To the best of my recollection, such moist soil is often found in the mountains and floodplains of the Temperate Zone, especially in the forest steppes covered with Chernozem. The landscape is very different from where we are now. Before we sheltered from the thunderstorm, you told me about a mountain in the southeast. It blocked the horizon from our sight, right? Based on this, I would assume the thunderstorm was the result of a stronger convection coming from the other side of the mountain. Now, on the steppe, to form a cloud large enough to bring a thunderstorm would require a large amount of running water. And the source of the running water is probably on the other side of the mountain. Exactly. We can set off in that general direction. We might not find any water there. That's the worst result. In that case... We can still return here with the help of your arcane skill. 
as long as we have that glass bottle with us. That's right. We tell them we need another five days. They won't accept more days than that. If they won't even settle for this, I will convince them, like I did when I first got them on the team. Mademoiselles, this is a miracle. I'm glad we didn't give up and go back. Wait. Something's not right. I... Oh, what are we waiting for? We are on the right path. I have nothing to say. No, wait. Please don't. What? Madam, you didn't tell us the running water was right on the side when we pitched camp yesterday. Yes, because I didn't notice any signs of water. I thought it was your doing. I wish it was. But sadly, this is beyond my power. I'm not even sure if we are still staying on the planned route. Indeed. I can hear the river flowing and running against the stones and shores. Have you noticed anything else? Yes. Um, I'm not an expert, though. The soil here is moist, too, but it feels different, like just dampened by frequent spring rains. Hmm. The dry air of winter has completely gone. And the grass here looks nothing like the temperate grass we should be seeing in December. It's so green, as if it were April or May now. But we haven't gone that far. Is this... Is this some kind of illusion brought by arcane power? Whether it's an illusion or something else, there must be something wrong with the water they drink. You're right. We can't let them drink it. Gentlemen, please listen. The water. Hold on, madam. It's too late. I have to. 
to tell them. I am the reason why they are here. Listen, they have filled the water bags and they're coming back. What's wrong? Are you not going to fill your water bags? Nothing. We'll go later. The water is clean. You can even see the trout swimming. Too bad we need to keep our packs light. Thank you. We'll fill our bags once we figure out which way we should go next. Krolik is still by the river. He seems parched. Is he the reason you didn't go there? No. All right. No problem then. I'll go check and uh, feel the rest. Please, wait here, madam. I'll go check. Madame Besmer! Mm -hmm. Mr. Jorian, did... did you drink the water? Oh, we oui, I did. Just like Petrov said, the water is clean. A bit sweet to taste, even. That's good, that's good, then. You were looking for me. Is there a problem? No, no. Look, I know you don't need any compliments. But thank you for leading us to the running water. I'm glad you once again earned their trust. Maybe we should thank the Ask and Acquire. <laughs> Perhaps. Now, it's time for us to set out again for the Eastern Arcane skill you mentioned. Uh, but before we do that, I remember you once mentioned your assistant during your speech, saying her Arcane skill was related to water and could find directions in the wild. Yes, you remember it correctly. Ah, that is so wonderful. Earlier you said that this was a safe gap. But at the time, you did not explain in detail how it would work. Now, may I have the honor to witness it? How does she communicate with water? Will she be possessed? Or like those mystics in the palace? Sir, my arcane skill cannot predict what will happen precisely, and it is not cast through possession. Please do not overestimate what you don't understand and simply count on it. I know, child. I'm only curious and hoping to see it with my own eyes. No, sir. It is not an exhibit in the museum or a play in the theater. Oh. They look all right. For now, yes. I feel uneasy about it. I have to go there. There is little you can do even if you go there, given the condition of your eyes. I will go check them, one by one. Wait. Mr. Jorian just asked about your arcane power. Maybe now was a good time. What? When you look for the direction with your arcane skill, Check if the water is real. What if it's not? In that case, child, we have no choice but to divine our way back. With the water in your bottle. Fine, I'll do it. I will find the direction through divination, verify if the water is running, and check if anything's wrong.
цветы и воды, пожалуйста, теките, теките. Пусть с вашей милосердной любовью забота плывут вместе с пеной вдаль. По пути вы сможете поливать корни, увлажнять траву и обливать душу медом. Как будто поднять поток с рифа, об которой разбиваются волны. Я, я пойду к этому потоку. Все будет так, как я сказала. Southeast. See Yenny. Take your time. Yes. Yes. The sign has come out. I asked the river to show me the place with the strongest arcane energy. Then it pointed at the southeast among all the other directions. That is probably the direction we are looking for. And yes. This river is real. Running water. It is flowing with vitality. All right. Perhaps I was wrong. It's never wrong to consider all the possibilities, madam. Please, wait here. I will mark the direction and inform everyone of it. Sure. It proved itself right by finding running water for us. So I'm not judging you this time, but are we going the wrong way? No, this is the right direction. But it's getting harder and harder to breathe, even if we are going down the mountain. What about you, madam? Are you feeling all right? I feel fine. Perhaps because I'm used to climbing mountains. But we are definitely 3,000 meters above the sea level now. It's normal if you're feeling unwell at this height. If only we still had alcohol. Well, it's just a thought. I wouldn't have gathered enough courage to climb up that slope if I hadn't taken the last few sips. But child, are you...
you sure we are on the right path? I don't think it's wrong. The clearer the sign, the higher the accuracy. And the sign I just saw happened to be exceptionally clear. What about the others? Are you feeling all right? Shall we stop and take a short break? I have a bad feeling. Instead of a break, we need a new direction. Back home, for example. Before we do anything, can we have some rest? My head has been pounding for a while. I thought it was common in the mountains and you all felt the same. Yes. Headache is a common altitude sickness, sir. Wait, is that tumbleweed? I don't think it belongs here. I hear... Are they rolling nearby? Are you sure? This is not the right season for them to roll and spread seeds. I'm not seeing things, I guess. But I don't know why they are here. And those flowers. Something's wrong. Hey you! Where are you taking us? Haven't you noticed the rocks around us? Their color is abnormal. I've never seen anything like this. Not even in books. And look at the holes in the rocks. They were made by water erosion. And that's not supposed to happen in this climate. Calm down, sir. Perhaps we have reached somewhere beyond the other adventurers' records, but that's all. What about this? How are you going to explain it? Another one of your stupid arcane skill tricks? species it is. It looks like a mini sunflower, but... <sighs> Told you we should head back. Something is wrong with this dump. Agree. We have a situation now. We should go back while we still can. Mademoiselles, I have to say this is beyond my imagination. Just a flower, yes? Why are you all so scared? I can't see, but... wrong here. The fog is not supposed to form in this latitude. The terrain is strange, and the plants, they wither in an instant. I don't want to say this, but this place seems to be cursed. These phenomena make no sense. We have to go back now. Madam, what do you say? Things are indeed weird. No, we are not returning. We have made it through the thunderstorm. What could be more dangerous than that? Perhaps we are getting close. Like those merchants said, there will be a price we must pay for the ask and acquire. Mr. Jorian, you also asked me about it. Don't you remember? On the contrary, madam. I remember it clearly. I have also told you my suspicion. It could be an exchange made between the Arcanus and nature. What? Of course not. 
Look around you. All this bizarre phenomena? You know I wasn't making things up. You set out to pursue that arcane skill, yet we ended up here. I don't know what your next plan is, but count me out. my intention. Madame Bismarck would never do that. The point is, the compass doesn't work here. You will get lost on the way back without me. There's no doubt this is part of your scheme. Excuse me? Mr. Julian already told us about your secret arcane skill. It's our last hope of getting home in this plight. We trust him. That being the case, you must come with us. No. I came here with Madame Bismertz. I'm not leaving without her. Let's... It's fine, Madame. We can keep going on our own. Let's go back. It's all right. Though I can't see, I can imagine how shocking it must be to make you so uneasy. When we get back to the pasture land... I'm sorry, madam. We're not taking you. I don't think we have enough supplies for everyone to make it back. So certainly someone must be abandoned. to say no. I will not show you the way without Madame Bismertz in the team. No, Yeni. You're going with them. But they're leaving you behind. Looks like your assistant has made her own decision. Sorry, but I never thought it would end up like this. Enough with the talking. My apologies, ladies. What? What are you doing? Benefit from reading. Until the torch is lit. The panfo. There they are. Another jar? It's newly made this year. Let's get it over quick. Exactly.
I don't understand. What is... what is going on? What's this noise? Mr. Crawley? Mr. Jorian? <coughs> Strange. I heard animals. What happened? Um... Yenisei. I can't see. I need your help. <sighs> oh dear. G give me a minute. Um, looks like they turned into, uh, I don't know, striped horses? Uh, uh sorry, I I'm not sure. I've only seen similar animals in, in, in books. Uh, they look a bit smaller than horses. Taller and bigger than donkeys, and they have yellow stripes on their skin. Perhaps some local species on the temperate steppe. Are you certain they're transformed from Mr. Jorian and others? Not the livestock of nearby herders? I didn't cast any violent arcane skills on them, nor did you. Besides, I didn't sense any fluctuations of arcane energy. I'm sorry, madam. I have no idea. I think... If this wasn't because of us, there must be someone else around. Stay close to me. It's here. Watch out. <sighs> what is it? Some bird of prey. It's fast, judging from the flapping sound of its wings. We must go up front to protect Mr. Jorian and the others. We might be its target. Oh, yes. The flint. Take out the flint. Kindle the sand rice to drive it away. No, wait! I don't think that's a bird of prey, but the human with wings! And it's not coming any closer?
them. That thing is a creature with a human head and a beautiful body. What? What did you say? I can't hear. I said that thing looks like a human with wings. A human? You mean it has the face of a human? Is the music also coming from it? Yes! The music playing winged creature with a human's face. Sounds familiar, don't you think? An angel? You are not serious! But, but the angels blow trumpets! That stick it uses to play music? I'm not sure whether it's a wand or some instrument. Madam, we... Uh, we... Calm down, child. Look closer and tell me. What does it look like? What about its wand? It... it... it has a human's head, dressed in grey, with black wings instead of arms. Looks... looks like a huge bird of prey. While the wand... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. even holding it. It's making the sound in mid-air. Sounds like a harpy, if there wasn't a wand. But it doesn't quite fit the descriptions in the book. Neither the color of its feathers nor the environment does. Stay calm, Yenisei. They must be under its control, but I'm not sure if... if a harpy can manipulate its subjects from a distance. All right. Let's hope that... Hope that Harpy doesn't make horses? Madam, we can't just stand here and hope. Nonsense. Hope that this is just a mind-controlling, arcane skill, and they're just affected by it. That's right. We must follow that creature and break the spell on them. Now you need to... I see what you mean. I'll go first. Please listen carefully to my footsteps and find us as soon as possible. There is not to find here. 
What is this sound? Speaking or singing? It sounds like a young man. How so? Well, at least it's definitely not a harpy. Uh, perhaps it's talking, but the tone sounds strange. I've never heard any language like this. Prepare to be drowned. There they are. Ouch. Oh. Another shark? Plan A. Crush most of them. Let's get it over quick. Three, two, one, down. Push the no pressure to chop Mr. Spadol. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Handy, that's the direction. It's newly made this year. Not a conventional choice. We've done a good job. Now, may I have a hand up? Bad smell. No, madam, watch out. What? I don't sense any hostility. Don't worry. I'm fine. It wasn't an attack. Those whom you chase are no longer related to you once they walked in here and moistened their throats with the flowing water. They are the Jutsu's concern. No more chasing. Uh, what is a GC? I don't understand. No, wait. I I understand his words now. What? But uh, what is happening? A am I seeing illusions again? Uh, madam, what about... Uh, uh... No, it's not an illusion. I can understand it, too. Unbelievable. Is he able to speak different languages? Or can he learn from our conversation in no time? The attack he just made could be his arcane skill. I can sense the fluctuation of his arcane energy. 
its wondrous power that allows people to communicate. Speculation is unhelpful to your situation. Go back to where you came from. No. First, you must turn them back. Second, to go back or not is our decision to make, not yours. That was not my doing. You stopped here and cast that arcane skill for us to talk, which means you think communication is available choice between us. You just mentioned the flowing water. Do you mean the river we passed by? And you say these striped horses are Jesus' concern. I need to know where that place is because they are my teammates. Besides, who on earth are you? What you ask, I have no answer. Ah, then what do you know? The four books and five classics. Geomancy and Feng Shui, Chen Wei Divination. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. The answers to many questions, actually. Yenisei, listen to me. We might be asking the wrong questions. We need to collect more information or buy more time. Whatever we are going to do, we can't just let him go. He will take Mr. Yuri and Anne the team away from us. But clearly he is reluctant to answer these questions. Perhaps he'd be willing to exchange them for our supplies. He is trying to take them away. Perhaps because they are carrying the supplies he needs. You mean food or what? Let's, uh... Stop. There is nothing else for you here. And I need nothing. What I yearn for is beyond even my own grasp. Wait! Good sir! Did I say anything wrong? Don't flame yourself, madam. He appeared to be the unpredictable type. Do you still have this tank to walk? We need to hurry up and go after him. going upstream if we are he must be taking his praise back to his nest is is there a forest there <sighs> oh. 
I'm sorry, madam. I can't. I can't think right now. I can't see anything. Only stars. Right in front of us. And... people. No. It's not a forest. There are walls and people. I, I I don't understand. Wait, could it be? Is it a supply station? N no, no. Where, where on earth are we? Child, please tell me where we are. I can't hear the rustling of the sand rice anymore. But there are other noises. I'm thinking, is this a settlement? No. At least it doesn't look like one. Not like any towns or villages we've seen. I, I, I think I'm seeing another illusion. I see a desert, some plants, and a, a wooden pavilion on the yellow walls. The roof of the pavilion looks like bird wings, and the people down the walls are quite different from us. Walls and people, right? Only a city has walls around it. I also hear those noises. It's not an illusion. Uh, no, you don't understand. Those yellow walls and the gates don't look real at all. I've never seen any buildings like this. A pavilion on the stone walls with four pointy tips around the roof? They seem to be flying in, in mid-air. Perhaps it's just a foreign architectural style. Besides, we couldn't have gone far enough to reach a city, unless... unless it's a fake one. We must not go there, Ashley. We lost track of the giant bird and the others long before we heard the noises of this city. The last thing I can recall is that the flapping of the huge wings disappeared in the south. The city wall before you is also to the south, is it not? <laughs> Madam, you are doing it again. You never listen to me. Child. We are standing in the right place. Behind these walls, our teammates might be suffering, due to my misjudgment. <sighs> the gate is open. I can see the people in the city. 
But there are guards patrolling around. They are holding some spear-like weapons, and the one in the front looks... quite different from us. I, I don't think they understand our language. Even if we ask them to let us in, uh, remember those herders? Almost impossible to communicate with them without an interpreter. Hope our travel documents can get us through that gate. Please show me your pass. You have all our documents. This is not a pass. Sir, you have the documents. Please, take a closer look at them. I'm not a sir. Please show me the right pass, which shows where you come from and where you're going. I wouldn't have been here if I knew the answers. No pass, no entry. I think it has been clearly stated on our documents. The documents were issued by the Association. They worked in all the borders in the north. What makes the difference here? It's not verified. I don't know which pass that you pass with this pass, let alone the writing and the seal on it cannot be recognized. If I let you in, it would be my negligence. Can we talk to someone else? You don't understand what we are talking about. I understand every word you say. Very well. If you do, friend, this is what happened. Our teammates were transformed into horses and taken away by a winged man. We think they might have been brought here, so we need to get into the city to find them. This is urgent. I hope you can understand. I've been on duty for over six hours. There was no such thing as a winged man. You can't fool me with your stupid story. I've seen too many of these little tricks. The rule is, no pass, no entry. understands our language, but he won't buy it. Yeni? <sighs> then I will see if we can make it in without this pass. Trying to break in? You're overestimating yourself. Just trying. Because we are not given any choices, sir. Wait, Yenisei!
Nothing unexpected. For now. Another jar? Handy. The moment of silence. Enjoy! Learn from silence. We walk in long nights. Benefit from reading. I should excuse myself. from the clues to the Dushwar Festival and the mysterious Eastern Arcane Power. Sir, I beg of you. Don't get any closer. Madam, are you all right? Just give up, madam. I'm even thinking if all these things we've been through are just illusions. The unusual terrains, the teammates turned into striped horses, and now this nonsense! I won't let you go in there and risk your life! No. Contrary, child. The unknown people, the uncharted city. We are very close to what we've been chasing. We were born to run after these exciting and amazing things. You're also looking for an answer from Ask and Acquire, right? Besides, we have no idea how Mr. Jurian and the others are doing. There is more to consider other than our own safety. Well said. Speaking of which, the city is much safer than the wild. You have my word. As for me, I am the legion of the biggest merchants hub in this city. You can address me by my title. Li uh, He sounds like a decent gentleman. Li Zheng, there are the intruders. Noted. The situation is under control. No need to close the gate. The ladies look like foreign merchants. Their business is within my purview. Besides, it's holiday time. They could be here for the celebration. Don't be so harsh on them. Understood.
If I am correct, you have lost your pass, right? We do have a pass, but it seems it doesn't work here. Well, just an understandable mistake for people from afar. However, either for business or the Dushuo Festival, it is troublesome without a proper pass. Dushuo Festival? Is it taking place now? That's what I said. I thought that is why you are here in Pei City. Uh, yes. We were told of it, but we've never been to one. We are not sure. We all heard of the legend about it. Hmm. So is the festival sung as a nursery rhyme in your tribe? Uh, tribe? We are not tribal people. We come from the north. Northerners? Oh, I mistook you for the descendants of the Wu Sun from the westward. It is said that they have migrated outside the Ziyoloman Mountain. No one has ever met them until now. Your clothes also have a unique style. I should apologize for my mistake. What's more, this lady by your side has red hair, green eyes, and fair complexion. The features match the records in history books. History books? Mr. Lee Jung, in your history books, do you have... Like I said, you may just call me Lee Jung. The book says, Wu Sun, one of the tribes in the western regions, has the most unusual appearance. The present foreigners are their descendants with features of green eyes, red hair, and the looks of macaque monkeys. Mm, 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 monkeys? <laughs> Maybe we can't believe every word in the book. No matter. Where were we just now? Was it... Dushuo Festival. We are here for the festival. All right! Exactly! The Pei City is famous for its grand celebration and joyful spirit during the festival. It attracts countless travelers from far away every year. I could only imagine how hard it was for you to arrive here. Well done. However, forgive me for being offensive. It seems you have lost sight in both eyes. Yes. Would that be a problem? Under this city's caring policy, you have the privilege of traveling without a pass. The gate guard is new here. I sincerely apologize for his offense. Come, follow me. It is not safe to stay outside of the city. There have been many missing persons cases recently. We intensified the patrol in case someone is blocked out of their city and goes missing. Missing persons cases?
Um... Have a seat. Thank you. Here, madam. I don't feel any chairs around me. H how am I going to... It seems the people here sit on their heels. Here, cushion. Just make yourself comfortable. You ladies look better now. What were you going to ask? Your walls, won't they collapse? Hmm? Why do you think that? Because they seem to be made of only earth and stone. I don't think these materials can stand the weathering. Not to mention the wooden pavilion on the walls. <laughs> you draw the conclusion only by its appearance. In fact, the stakes are deeply driven into the ground and stand firmly. No need to worry about the peeling bricks and clay. It's just a sign of the city's longevity. The city's longevity? So how old is this city? As I recall, Hundreds of years! Its annuals take up most of the library. Each volume records a decade. Considering the large quantity, hundreds may not be the best quantifier. There are many historical sites in the city. You may take your mother for a site tour. Madame Bismertz is not my mother. Miss Pierre... Oh, I apologize. I forgot about her sight. That's all right. People often mistake me for having good eyesight because I walk around freely like others. The silver lining is, we have a caring policy in this regard. We're here to help whether you need assistance or not. You keep talking about my eyesight. May I ask why? The government is obliged to provide help to people with severe impairments, including those who have lost their sights in both eyes. Isn't it the same with the northerners? Oh, if my question is offensive. No, that's fine. More than fine, actually. In the North, I have to do more to be treated like an ordinary person. I see. I've heard that people at the North idolize the strong and pay little attention to the weak. Little did I know the disabled enjoy no privilege. But now you are here with us in Pay City. Please rest at ease. Moreover, you speak fluent Hanese. I'm sure your stay here will go swimmingly. You mean we are speaking the Hanese right now? Are you not? It's interesting you ask. According to the records of the hub, most of the foreign merchants with fluent Hanese have lived a long time in the Central Plains. While you are obviously not one of them, neither have you paid frequent visits here. Otherwise, you wouldn't have forgotten a proper pass. You're a man of sharp wit, I have to say. Back where we are from, merchants come and go, including those who speak your tongue. We've dealt with them a lot throughout the years. If it weren't for their advice, we wouldn't have made it this far on our first journey as a new caravan. I see. Foreign merchants are well informed and welcomed by the citizens in Pay City. Oh, there are other foreign merchants in the hub. If you have no place to stay, the caravans arrive there might be a good choice. Take 
this with you. It is the pass to verify your identities. You can enjoy your stay here with it, or you might end up being expelled. Thank you. Then how are we going to... Please, show me the document you have now. Certainly. Uh, let me just... Uh, I have them. I always have them with me, madam. Oh, thank you. You are reliable as always, child. Thank you. I will take a look. Hold on a second. Looks like it's written in Turkish. Is it Turkish? What? No, it... Yes, a variation of it. This is the written language in the North. Yeni, this is the written language in your hometown, also known as Yenisaic, isn't it? Right. My apologies. I should have known that our language is a rare kind in the Central Plains. I understand. It's all right, but I'm afraid you have to write it down yourself, including where you came from. Please take this file as a reference. Thank you. I'll do it. Um, sorry, but I don't think I can read it. Hmm? Oh, my mistake. I should have realized the paperwork is much harder than oral communication. But the servant is not here today. All right, you can tell me and I'll write it down. Like this one. What did you come to the city for? For business. How many of you are there in the team? Seven, including us. There were seven of us. Were? Where are they now? This is also what we are trying to find out. On our way here, they were transformed into horses and taken away by a giant bird. Transform into horses? Hmm. Then how come you didn't get transformed? We have no idea. Perhaps because Madame Besmerz and I are arcanists, while the others are humans. What do you mean? Does the giant bird only attack humans? Then how does he identify them? There is no huge difference between humans and Arcanists, after all. What? Um... No huge difference. Is that a problem? No, not at all. Let's go back to the difference between humans and Arcanus later. 
My guess is, there might be something wrong with the water. We found a river when crossing the steppe. Our teammates were too thirsty and drank the water in haste. Then we realized something was wrong. Yes, it came from the northwest. Not a big one, but quite clean. That might be the main river of Pei City, called Peilin River. But it's been shrinking these past years. Also, there are no cases of people drinking it and turning into horses. What were the features of that giant bird? He has black or brown wings, red tail feathers, and a man's face. Also, as I recall it, he has the voice of a young man. A giant bird with a man's face. A feather man. Did he play a musical instrument? He played a stick-like instrument. His music could lead the horses to where he went. Was there a bone-like wand with him? Could be, but I'm not sure. He was so far away from us. I have a rough idea now. If that's what I think it is, even though he is not a Shangri, I have to say... I... Sounds like something happened when you last met. The giant bird, or the featherman as we say, was considered a Shangri by some citizens. It is because he looks like the legendary Go Mang. What is this Xiang Rei? Is it some kind of guardian? Not exactly. In most cases, Xiang Rei is just Yao, but in a good way. They are benevolent, using their power to help people and bless the area. Before your report, there was someone else witnessing a feather man with a bone wand. He once brought some animals to the Jutsu and claimed they were transformed from humans. This... this is exactly what happened to our teammates. If these two are the same feather men, then he is very likely involved in these missing persons cases. Oh, the cases you mentioned. I, I see. Too bad that witness couldn't remember anything, even the slightest feature, for us to draw a picture, since no one could provide other evidence. Her word was considered nonsense. The Fatsao thought she was possessed and suggested she take a break in her hometown during the holiday. We want to pay her a visit. Will she come back? I'm afraid not. She worked as a Juli in the Jitsu. It's not a crucial position, but clearly not suitable for a possessed person. There's someone filling in for her now. What if... What if I can offer a drawing of the Featherman? He was far away in mid-air at the time. I couldn't see the details, but I remember his outline and the color of his wings. Besides, I have experience in making sketches and maps. I can totally make a drawing of him. Sketch? Map? Hmm... But we can only attach your drawing to the wanted poster for the moment. We can't put him in prison without solid evidence. Everything is yet to be confirmed by the court. But a drawing is better than nothing. Please give it a try. Here's the brush and the ink. Help yourself. This is the same long pen you just used? That's right. 
And this is the ink? But it won't adhere to the pen. To get the liquid ink, you need to rub the ink stick on the ink stone first. It's fine. I'll rub it for you. You can focus on the drawing. Huh? The lines it draws are really heavy. And do we only have the black ink? No, they are different colors. May I have the red one? Please hold on. I will get it for you. <laughs> <laughs> 